Hey guys, the Bond guys here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 64, my 2,000 subscriber special, which was voted on by you guys, the fans. And this will also be found on GameOne.com. This was made in 2000, like a couple years after opening of time. Therefore, it plays almost the exact same way, but has a very unique type of gameplay. And instead of using my own name, I'll just put in the link. Just because. Yes, I know, I was using a practice file with ass on it, who cares? Because that's how I roll. Yeah, believe it or not, this was one of the Christmas special games, and ironically, I got this game for Christmas several years ago. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend killed... Fuck it. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he barked in, on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of beloved wheat, I mean, invaluable friend. And believe it or not, it's actually believed to be Navi, though I'm pretty sure Link is only doing that just for the sole purpose of killing her. I mean, why else would he come armed with a sword, shield, and get Epona for some reason? Could not ride him as young Link anyway back in Ocarina of Time. Yet all of a sudden, Epona is rideable in this. I guess some time passed around that Ocarina of Time and Epona grew, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Oh, here's some new characters in the game Tattle and Tail, the fairy, brother and sister. And they work for the Skull Kid, who for some reason picked up a strange mask because he was bullied and he wanted to get revenge on everyone by picking up this. Cursed evil mask to get some payback. Don't you think that kind of abuse started Columbine? Or oh, it was Columbine, you had to pronounce it. Columbine. Remember, I live in Canada, so I wasn't that much into school shootings and all that shit. And of course, the opponent gets scared shitless from fairies. Oh, here's a skull fairy. He's pissed. That sinister laugh. He looks evil. Hee <laughs> hee! You two fairies did great! I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. Did I give this guy a skull mask back in Ocarina of Time? I think I did. He gave me a pretty bad deal, too. Oh, you asshole. Hey, stop grabbing my balls, you! Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see it. You can't, Tim. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Uh, since because you have no arms? That would be a pretty good reason. Oh, you've done it now. I got nothing. I naturally have anything blue and pointy coming out of my ass anyway. Oh, fast, aren't you? Hey, come back here, my horse! That's supposed to be glue in three days! No way. I mean, you gotta admire Link's dedication to hold on to his horse. Even when his leg is getting carpet burn. That's what you get for wearing shorts. That never exactly goes well. Actually, that never goes well. Me being dragged. Oh, finally, now I get a chance to play. Come on, regain consciousness and go after him. Yeah, so like I was saying before, before I started narrating the story, I actually got this for Christmas one year. I think it was the Christmas of 2000 or 2001. I don't remember. I think it was... Around the time Majora's Mask is still fairly new, and I had that gold cartridge. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? It's a gold cartridge. I mean, the last time I played a game before then that actually had, had a different colored cartridge was Doom for the Super Nintendo, and I had that red cartridge. Same as what Maximum Carnage did, but when I got Maximum Carnage, like I bought it, and I, it wasn't the, uh, the red cartridge, it was a gray one. Which is kind of disappointing. 
But oh well, it's still the same kind of game. Oh, hang on a second, I looked up something right here. Oh yeah, I still had my uh, Joy Keypad emulator for what I used for my Sega game still on. I forgot to turn it off. But oh well, we're back in session. What's this? Oh, that flower broke my fall, even though it's ugly. Where do you get those spotlights, anyway? What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point of riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee! Aw, why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Fool! Oh, great. Now he's gonna activate a curse on me. <laughs> In other words, I'm no longer be regular Link for a good while. Instead, I'll turn to the next thing you're gonna see. Yeah, it's pretty lowly. Well associated with plants. It's a Deku. I'm gonna turn into a fucking Deku now. That's gonna be great, but I mean, at least when you're Deku Link, it's actually quite fun, even though you're weak as hell. I mean, at least you get the chance to fly around. Well. Fly, really. You don't exactly fly, like. You get launched up in the air and you can just fly around, whatever. Yeah, well, you'll get to see the gameplay itself later. Oh no! I turned into Paris Hilton! No! Hee oh. <laughs> hee! Now that's a good look for you! You'll stay here looking that way forever! Come back here! Hey, that's a fuse there. I see why I hate fairies. Success! Oh, the bitch is trapped. Oh, now you're just catching on now. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid! Wait for me, I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! You! Who was dealing with you? I don't get separated from my brother! Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy! Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, what is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, help this old girl! I was asking you, so hurry up! Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Oh. That's like a bitch. It's like a soul of your soul or something. Yeah, that's how you open a door, bitch. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! So, um, that stuff back there! I uh, apologize, so, so take me with you! You wanna know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going! Take me with you, and I'll help you out, deal? Please? Good, so that's settled, bitch. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle, so it's uh, nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press C up and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully I'll manage to get by without my help until then. He's like, what did I do to deserve this shit? Okay. Yeah, basically, I mean, I can explain that myself. I mean, once you get on these old flowers, hold it, press A, you'll burrow in them. Hold A until you aim. Release. And then you can fly. At least until you keep going down or you run out of space. Or like once the fluttering starts to go away, and then you're good. I mean, this is very easy on getting across these hard to reach gaps that normal Link would not be able to do on his own. Therefore, you gotta like, get used to Deku Link very fast. You're gonna be this way for at least the first cycle of three days. Oh, I got a Deku Nuts, which can be a bomb for De Deku Link. Yeah, is this the right way I gotta go? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's not, it's not the right way. I gotta go this way, and I can use B to actually drop a bomb from from this from up in the air. 
That's a pretty good way to use a weapon. At least Deku Link can use the nuts too. Though really, when you're Deku Link, they're really bombs. Hey, come on, press the and talk to me! Ah, uh, blah blah blah, it's basically the same thing Navi would tell you. Or at least... Well, that girl up in Kokiri Forest told me about this, and then Navi had to tell me again, because, well, she's like a bitch and feel like everything has to be done her way. Yeah, it is pretty sad, huh? So... Yeah, I think that's enough right now. Stay tuned for the next part when I finally make it to Clock Town. Goodbye, everyone.